Hey guys, this is Sean from SeanHeather.com and in this video I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks which you can use on your Windows Phone devices. Right now we are having a Lumia 640XL smartphone. So basically it's going to be a list of tips and tricks which you can use on the Lumia 640XL smartphone. But uh, Lumia 640XL comes with the Windows Phone 8.1 OS. So if you are having any of the Windows Phone 8.1 device, you can use the very same tips and tricks uh, which I'm going to show in this video on your device as well. So let's start it now. So here is our Lumia 640 XL, the big and beautiful smartphone. And so the very first thing which I want to show you that this device comes with the double tap to wake up feature. So if the screen is locked right now, just as you can see in the picture, uh, sorry, in this video, so you, all you have to do is double, uh, double tap on the screen like this and it will light up so now you can just unlock it if you're having a password you can put a password on it to unlock it and if not just slide it up and the screen will be unlocked so this is one of the tips and tricks you have to activate it from the settings so what you have to do just go to the settings then go to touch here and here you will find the option wake up so double tap screen to wake up the phone so here you have to activate it to use this feature and along with this there is one more interesting feature that was uh, double tap to wake up but what if you want to use the same feature like you're double tapping to uh, lock the screen so what we have to do on that scenario this feature is available as well but you have to go to the settings once again then you have to go to navigation bar here and here you will find this feature that is double tap on the navigation bar to turn off the screen so as you can see this feature is enabled already so what i have to do if i want to turn off the screen all i have to do double tap uh, on this navigation bar like this and the screen will be off so this is a very interesting feature you can do right from the setting then uh, for any smartphone user one of the most important thing is the battery life and uh, the Lumia 640 XL or the Windows Phone 8.1 OS comes with some nice feature using which you can save the battery of your device which is if you go to the battery here or you can just do this battery saver so here you can see the option how much battery is remaining and here you will find the battery saver option that is conserve battery life you're having few options right now it's turned off uh, you can activate it for when battery is less than 20 percent only in that scenario or you can always use uh, the battery saver application by tapping on the always option so here is now until next charge Another thing which you can use to save your battery is that just tap on, go to the battery saver application, then tap on the usage option. And here you will see the list of application which are using the data, uh, sorry, the battery on your device. So here you can see the mixed radio news application, health and fitness, spotted airborne games and all. So, and once again, there are two options. You can see here one is showing in use, another one is showing in background. So you can see that Asphalted Airborne consumed some battery when I was playing the game and also consumed the battery when it was running in the background. The reason behind this that it is allowed to run in the background. You can see it's these all of these applications are allowed. So what if you if you are seeing that a game is consuming a battery by running in the background, so what you can do just tap on it, for example, Asphalted Airborne. And here you can see the option allow app to run in the background what you have to do just turn it off and now the asphalted airborne will never ever use the battery by running in the background so this is one of the very nice feature which comes with windows phone 8.1 devices and lumia 60 uh, 640 xl as well so now the next feature which i want to show you that uh, by default all of the windows phone devices lumia phone devices comes with 
a device name which is Windows Phone. So it's it's kind of annoying because if you're having lots of Windows Phone and, and in your nearby people are having lots of Windows Phone, everybody will have the same name. So, but you can still change it. So what you have to do is is go to the settings. Once again, go to the about section of the device. Here you will find about and you can see the name of my device is shanada.com. So what if you want to change it, just tap on the edit name option and you can make it whatever you want. For example, Hmm. Lumia 640 once again. Here we go. Lumia 640XL. So using this option, you can change the name of your device. So after this, just tap on the save option. And as you can see, the name of the device is changed. The very same name will appear uh, in your Bluetooth uh, application as well. If, if someone is trying to find your phone using the Bluetooth application, this is the name which will be uh, shown on rest of the devices. And the next uh, interesting feature which comes with uh, Lumia 640 and Lumia 640 XL smartphone only because these phones are having the latest build of Windows Phone 8.1 device and that is the categorization of the settings. So you can see here, Network Pro, uh, Plus Wireless is having settings related to network. And then here are the personal uh, personalization. Then there is account. And if you type on any of these category name, then it will go like this. So now you can easily access any of the uh, setting directly from the category name. So for example, if you want to change the time settings or the region setting, just tap on the time plus language and it will show all of the options. Once again, if you want to access uh, any settings quickly, just tap on one of the setting name and you will have all the options shown once again. For example, if you want to go to uh, update plus backup, just tap on it and the application will show the settings for update and backup. Then there is quick search settings which also comes with only 640 and 640XL smartphone which is this quick search uh, icon here. So what you can do here just tap on it and just type few characters of the setting which you want to search. For example if you want to search the brightness just type E R I and it will show the suggestion. So now you can just access the brightness from here directly. So uh, finding and uh, finding an application or setting it's really very nice you can quickly access all these settings and application rightly from there and uh, then what we got here is it's uh, here you can see there is a built-in pedometer in Lumia 640 XL smartphone so how it works that it comes with the MSN health application which you will find here health and fitness so if you go to this application you will find that there is a built-in pedometer which is a steps counter here you can see there's a cardio tracker as well but what we are concerned about is a pedometer which is steps here so you can use it for counting your calories counting your steps and everything you can see this is my today's stat and since this is weekend and I'm just um, I'm at my home and lazing around so you can see this is the start for today for me and you can pin it on the start screen as well as I have shown you in the very beginning and one interesting thing about this feature is that if you turn on the location from here you will see the notification that a uh, step tracker is turned off but the interesting thing is that strip tracker still runs in the background so you don't have to turn on the location whole day and waste your battery uh, on this application just because you want to use the pedometer you want to use the uh, step counter application but uh, to check the data all you have to do just turn on the location go to the uh, application and you will see the data once again on your device then there is a motion data in settings which shows how your device is moving from here to there so you you can see here that in the last 24 hours my activity is uh, I was walking all the time it 
there is no running as you can see here and nearly 20 25 percent of the time i was on a vehicle that's car or something so this is a very interesting feature and the steps counter also depends on this data which comes with your uh, motion data application so and if you go to the places visited this is right now turned off if you turn it on you will accurately see where your phone was moving on the map it will show you the whole activity from here to there on the map that what you were doing where your phone was moving along with you so it's a very nice application but remember that uh, this uh, need uh, the location setting to be turned on all the time so if you're turning it on keep in mind that your battery will be consumed a lot so this is uh, and another interesting feature and if um, you, uh, everybody knows that we can charge our smartphone our windows phone our lumia 640 xl uh, by connecting it to usb uh, cable to our laptop or computer but what if you just want to charge the device because what happens when you are connecting your device to the computer uh, it, it uh, works as a media device and in, it will start showing all the content of your phone to your laptop or PC as well. So there is a setting, go to the USB here as you can see and here you will find the option, ask me before using USB to communicate with other devices. So if I turn it on, what will happen that whenever I will connect my phone with a PC using a USB cable, it will uh, only charge the device. It will not communicate with the PC or laptop and it will not show the content of this. So this is also useful if you want to charge your uh, Windows phone or Lumia 640 XL uh, quickly because at that time your phone will uh, not do any data transfer from one device to another or any type of communication and it will use it only for charging. So it's a good, uh, it is a very nice feature as well. And then when it comes to privacy, once again, there is a very nice feature which you can see, uh, which you can see here itself, that's app permission. What this app exactly does that, it let you select that which app uh, you want to be used for a particular app. For example, calendar. If I go to the calendar, you can see that Facebook is accessing my data of calendar to use it. So what if you do not want Facebook to use uh, the data stored in the calendar application, what we have to do, just turn it off. And if you want that uh, uh, none of the application use the uh, data of your calendar, you can just entirely turn it off by tapping here. Now, none of the application uh, installed on your phone can use the uh, any data on your calendar application. You can do the same for camera. You can see here, here all of these application are having access to my camera application and content of it you can see so it's pretty bad if you're thinking that your privacy is on a risk so you can just use the app permission application to get rid of any of these uh, possibility um, one of the very interesting activity these days is taking the screenshot so what if you want to take the screenshot on your windows phone 8.1 uh, device or uh, on your Lumia 640 XL. So what you have to do, you have to press the power key and the volume up key together like this. I'm going to show you a demo. And the screenshot is taken. You can see it showing saving to screenshot. If you go to the photo application, you will see the picture here right now, which I have taken. It's an image as, as you can see here. I can zoom in, zoom out. I can even edit the image. I can crop it and I can do lots of stuff. So. Uh, this is the method to take the screenshot on your Lumia 640 XL, Lumia 640 or any of the Windows Phone 8.1 devices. And what if you want to close a uh, background running application? So all you have to do, just go uh, have a look on the navigation keys here and tap and hold on the back key for a few seconds. For example, like this. And then it will show all of the uh, application which are running in the background for example i have opened the health and fitness application but i didn't close it properly so it's still running in the background so just turn it on what we have to do press and uh, hold the back key for a few seconds and when this screen appears all you have to do is just 
slide them like this or you can just tap on the X mark here to close it and now this is the start, uh, starter screen all of the application which we're running in the background are, are closed now and uh, here you can see this is the start screen of the device but what if you want to change the background and uh, put a wallpaper on it like rest of the smartphones like Android phone you usually do this like you can use uh, any wallpaper on the screen so you can do this as well here what we have to do go to personalization in the settings then start plus theme and here you will find the option choose photo so just tap on it here you will find the camera roll there is a separate folder for background let me select uh, this one for example here you can see the portion which will appear on the starter screen you can select the content for example I'm selecting like this and yes and now if you go back to the starter screen you can see the background is totally changed it's not the just uh, the accent color of the device it, it, it's not all orange right now as you can see here and if you want to remove it what we have to do once again go to the settings personalization start plus themes and here you will see the option remove so if you do it uh, the image will be removed and once again the screen is back as it was another interesting feature here is that you can even change the accent color for example this device is having uh, orange background uh, back panel so basically the accent color I am using here is orange but what if, if you don't like this color at all uh, so you can change it you can make it red see now everything is red it's red even uh, in the list of the application everything will be red if you want to change it again go back here and make it green and it will be green now so that's how you can change the background image or the accent color of your Lumia 640XL smartphone or any of the Windows Phone 8.1 devices and this device comes with glance screen feature it is not available in all of these smartphones uh, in Lumia series but Lumia 640XL comes with glance screen what glance screen does is that it shows uh, information when the screen is locked for example it is showing the time if I'm having any notification like missed calls uh, SMS anything so it will appear here uh, here as well again and the good thing is that you can even customize this feature so what we have to do let's go to the settings go to the glance screen here and then you will find the options for example you want it only at peak you want the glance screen always on or you want it at interval so then there is what content you want on your glance screen for example quick status notification then uh, do you want glance screen all to show on the time or all of them charging like this whatever you can select then there is a night mode option which changes the color of the glance screen you can select the all red green blue hide glance screen and all so you can customize your glance screen as well or your windows phone 8.1 device which is a very nice feature and you can also change the navigation bar for example if you have a look on these two settings available here on the downside you can see that double tap uh, sorry double tap we have already seen here navigation bar whether you want it always dark like this or you can uh, select it to match the background or you can select it to match accent color as well for example the accent color is green and right now navigation keys are uh, black and white so if I do it match accent color it will change to green as you can see here the navigation bar is changed to green so if you want to have it like this you can use this feature as well I usually prefer to keep it all this dark which looks good and as you can see Windows Phone 8.1 is having the option to create folder on the starter screen as well so if you're having uh, any Windows Phone 8.1 device or a Lumia 640 or Lumia 640 XL and you want to create a folder for example here I have created the folder of the games and if you want to create any other folder so what you have to do just drag and drop uh, an application to another and it will create a folder for example what I have to do 
uh, I want to create a folder for office steps and for my uh, weather application so what I have to do just tap and hold this and now I'm going to drag and drop it on office and you can see here the folder is created right now I can even name the folder for example new folder that's all so this is how we create a folder if you want to uh, include more application on this for example this is steps just hold on it drag and drop on the folder you want and it's included as you can see here if you want to remove uh, an application from the folder the procedure is same just tap on hold and drag and drop outside and if you want to delete a folder entirely first of all you will have to remove all of the um, sorry uh, all of the application from it then only the folder will be removed from your screen and then here is the action center which is also works uh, as a notification bar here you can see the quick settings for example right now i'm having the wi-fi bluetooth mobile data turning on or off and the location but what uh, you can customize this as well so to customize it you have to go to the setting once again and then you have to go to the action notification plus actions here you can see here manage action center just go inside and here you can see the four options so right now it's a, a wi-fi bluetooth mobile data and location but what if you want to change it and use something else so uh, for example if you want to remove the location and put something else just tap on the location and you will see the options available for you and you can select any of these for example i'm going to select battery saver and the battery saver is added here now if i go to the action center you can see the location is removed and the battery saver is added here so here you can customize it as well and now you can uh, also customize the notification which you get on the not uh, notification plus uh, action center so here you can see the option show notification in action center when my phone is logged for all this so and you can even see that uh, which type of notification you will get it's the uh, banner alert sounds vibration here you can once again just tap on it for example i do not want to get any um, notification from the games uh, particularly spotted so just tap on it and here show in action center just turn it off and the banner alerts everything notification sound vibration everything is off you can even uh, turn on or off them separately so if i go back you can see the spotted airborne is off so i won't get any notification in the action center and then there are lots of nice and interesting feature for which i'm going to tell you about for example here is uh sync my settings so you can see uh, if you're using a microsoft account on your lumia 640 excel or windows phone 8.1 devices so what all the settings you can sync with uh, all of your devices for example you, if you are having multiple windows phone devices so you can uh, do the settings uh, save the settings on the cloud these are application setting internet explorer setting your bookmarks and history and everything and the passwords right now i do not want to save my theme uh, on all of my devices so like i want uh, all of my devices to be unique in terms of theme so I'm using something else on 640 XL, something else on my Lumia 930. So this is off right now. So you can select whatever you want, whether you want it to be synced or not. Then there is Quiet Hours. If you go to Quiet Hours, right, it is turned off. It is a Cortana based application, which uh, uh, let you keep your device silent, quiet uh, for a predefined time. For example, if you're in a meeting and you do not want to be disturbed, you can just activate this feature or you can even uh, schedule it using cortana and uh, then it will act like this you can see here the options available for you uh, there is automatic rule option then uh, there is exceptions as well you have to clear uh, create the inner circle for that and then you can create exceptions here are rest of the option that uh, if a call comes what will happen if a text comes, what will happen 
and what action you want to, uh, to be taken. And then there is a driving mode using which uh, it's kind of quite hours as well because when you are driving, your device will automatically turn off all the notification except the phone calls and the text and you have to use a Bluetooth device to use this feature. So right now I can't give you a demo. Then uh, here is uh, the brightness. It's pretty obvious. I'm not going to tell you this. Then a storage sense is, is something which you need to know. Lumia 640XL comes with an SD card option as well. So if you're having Lumia 640XL, so or any device which is having the SD card, you can use this option. And so what it shows here is how much memory is used in the phone memory and how much is used and left in the SD card. And then you will find the options here that whether you want your music, video, podcast to be saved on your SD card or on your phone memory same is uh, available for photos and apps and downloads uh, so here uh, you can see that i am selecting the music and videos because these are usually big in size on my sd card once again the applications i'm, I'm downloading huge games uh, like asphalt head and gt racing 2 so i wanted uh, all those games to be saved on my sd card not on my phone memory so here uh, the option is SD card. If you want to change it, just tap on it and you can select phone or whatever. It's up to you. For example, you want your photos to be saved on SD card, tap on it and select SD card. That's all. It's really very easy. And what if, and uh, you have to know that this setting comes uh, in action once you select this. Previously downloaded application will be exactly at the same place. So what if you want to move something from one place to another place? For example, I want to move uh, any of the application from my phone memory to internal uh, SD card memory. For example, here is the subway surfer. It is consuming 131 MB of storage on my phone memory. So what I have to do, first of all, tap on phone. Here you will find the list of all the application plus games. So just tap on app plus games here. And then, for example, subway surfers, I want to move to SD card. Tap on it and here you will find the option move to SD card or uninstall. So if you want to uninstall it, you can uninstall it from here. If you want to move to SD card, you can move to SD card. So just tap on it here and it will be moved to SD cards. You can see here the status is showing service surfers moving. So right now it's moving to the SD card. So this is the method to move any application from phone memory to SD card. If you want to move something from SD card to phone memory, the step is exactly the same. What you have to do, just tap on the SD card Go to the list of app plus, uh, apps plus games. Here you will find all the application and games installed on your SD card. Just tap on it and then you will get the option move to phone memory. So I will give you a demo of that as well here. It's moving so let's leave it and here we go to SD card. Apps plus games here. And you can see the subway surfer is moved to the SD card right now. If I want to move back to the phone memory just tap on it and select the option move to phone and it will move back there once again and uh, then there is uh, the kids corner it is a very interesting feature and it's similar to the apps corner what this application does that if you are having lots of data uh, lots of sensitive material like for example uh, some private pictures or uh, the games or your office content and you do not want your kids to have an access to them so what you can do you can separate a, a different starter screen and they will have access to only those application and games or uh, multimedia content like images and music or videos which you will select for them so uh, it's going to take some time so you can just click on the link available on the screen and you will see how to do this the same goes with the apps corner um, you can select a separate uh, starter screen with only the apps which you want to be shown this is pretty good if you want to uh, if you're going to give your phone to somebody else uh, to use it for some time so you, so you can just activate this option once again you can see how to do this by clicking on this link up here on the screen and you can see the step-by-step -step instruction for this and if you go to photos plus camera you can see some options here like uh, if I go to the start screen here you can see in the photo application there is just one single picture which is appearing here from the very beginning of this video. The picture is not shuffling. It's, the reason behind it is 
that I have selected a single photo option in the start tile show. You can select which single photo would you like to be shown here or you can go back and you can just select whether you want all photos to appear there by shuffling or your favorite photos. So it's up to you and here once again you can see uh, whether you want your location info to be used in camera or not. You can even select the uh, default uh, camera application but uh, uh, in Lumia 640 XL by default the camera application is just Lumia camera. Uh, earlier there was Microsoft camera as well uh, for example if you if you are having any older phone like the Lumia 930, Lumia 830 you will find there were two camera application the first one was Lumia camera and there was Microsoft camera but from 640 and 640 XL you will find only one application that's Lumia camera so by default you are having this option enabled for Lumia camera then you will find another setting that group my photo by time and location you can select whether you want it to be uh, that way or not then uh, there is a cloud storage option for OneDrive and it will automatically upload all of your images and videos on your OneDrive account which comes with this phone that like you will get 30 GB of cloud storage for OneDrive if you're buying uh, Lumia 640 XL or any of the Windows Phone 8.1 devices so here is the option for that and then if you go back to the settings uh, and if you are a professional who is using the office application on this device so you can even change the username and uh, for example you can just tap on it and change the username and if you're creating a document this username will be used uh, as the author of the Microsoft Office application so this is another useful thing then if you go to the ease of access you will find lots of options here like high contrast sample you can change the text size narrator and lots of interesting options are there uh, you can watch one of our videos uh, which we have previously posted using uh, in, uh, using which uh, you can better understand watching uh, that video you will better know how to use the ease of action navigation bar we have already covered and here is the find my phone option you can use it to find your phone here is uh, save my phone's location periodically option if you activate it it will keep saving your phone's location but it will also consume your uh, phone's data mm, sorry phone's battery so it's up to you whether you want this feature to be used or not then here is the app permission which i have already used the backup is what it does that it saves your app plus settings text matches uh, messages and photos plus video to the cloud so right now i have turned off all the options i do not want my uh, data to be saved on uh, the cloud but if you want you can turn it on you can even select uh, if you just tap off uh, type on any of the app and like text messages you will get rest of the detailed options for you like whether you want or it's for messaging only and if you go to photos plus video you will find the up uploading option like in which quality and in which condition you want your photos and videos to be backed up and same is the app plus settings it also you can also delete from here if you are having any backup by tapping on manage backups right now i'm not having any backup so it won't show you anything and then we got network plus extras here extra plus info all these are very basic and you can have a look by yourself so that's all for now folks uh, i think i have covered pretty much everything every tips and tricks which are some functionality which comes with a windows phone 8.1 device lumia 640 xl and lumia 640 so if you're going to have uh, Windows Phone 8.1 device and if you're having any of the devices already with you I hope watching this video will help you and using your phone pretty well So thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos tips and tricks and hands-on reviews like this Have a nice day